right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with the riff and then I'll show the chords and I'll maybe say a couple things about what he's doing from a soloing perspective. It's a great song to practice, major and minor pentatonics and arpeggios over, because that's basically what he's doing just with masterful choices of notes and obviously a cool chord progression. So the first part is, so it's the sixth and the fifth string. Now the chord around that is this one, you have the tab there so you can see it. And that chord, I think it's a ninth or a 13th. If you've seen my other videos, you know I, I really don't read music very well. The full chord is that. So here, here, and then these three. I have a hard time hitting that, so I cheat. Just play the bass note and those uh, three middle strings. All right, so the chord progression after that beginning riff uh, is, so it's, you play that down there if you want as well. I don't know if it's a major or seventh, the way he plays it. Then back to that uh, cool 13th or 9th or whatever it is, then it starts from the beginning. When he comes up to solo, he's doing, you can do whatever you want. Um, go to town, man. I, note for note stuff uh, means you haven't learned it. Uh, he's playing a major over this and the major pentatonic is there. Then he does something, something, I don't know if I've ever seen, or if it's something like that. It's still within the pentatonic, but he's catching that chord. Then when it comes to here, Can you basically go to the arpeggio, and then um, he goes when he walks down. He's doing a lot of different things. So do whatever you want there, but that's the essence of it: major, minor, um, and then the arpeggios. And that's the song. Um, again, a masterpiece, a gem, highly, highly underappreciated. Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed. All right, so here's the chords as I hear it. It starts with this, I think, G minor, but he adds this. Then uh, A minor 7. Now the way I play this next part is I want to keep that bass. And since what he's doing is going, going like that, I go. So I switch back to get ready for that G minor. So. All right, so then the song goes. I think he's, I think he does his little fills there. Um, then. I think that's a 13th. It's basically every string on the fifth fret and then the bass, leaving out this one. Walks one up to a major. Now this one, I, you can play one or two different ways. We can play lots of different ways, but the way I play it is. So there, or you can play it. So here, just basically the. Again, I'm a hack, and I don't really know the names of the chords. I just feel them out, so that's how I hear it. All right, so the You Make Me Feel So Brand New is... I think. I'm playing this from memory. I think that's right. So brand new. Then he goes back up to that. He's throwing a little thing there. Back to that one, and then I think it just goes from there. Uh, repeats. I think that's it. I'm trying to think if there's a part that I missed. I think that's everything. Um, I'll tab it all. Um, and again, a little sloppy, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a great day. Peace. Have a good 2023.